What's up guys, Extreme Zedge here, aka Gaming Review Punk, and today I'm going to review Star Wars Rebel Assault for the Sega CD. Now, this game was not only released on Sega CD, but it was also released for the PC, Mac, and a console I never heard of before called 3DO. Hmm, sounds like C3PO, but the console or system itself looks like a VCR to me. Now that had to be said. But anyways, this game was both developed and published by LucasArts. Then it was released in the year of 1993 in November. Now, all that basic information is out of the way. Let's go ahead and see what the game is like. Okay, so when we start the game, it starts up in an opening intro video for Star Wars Rebel Assault, showing and telling you an idea what it's all about. I thought that was pretty cool to watch. Now we have the main menu. So we got Start New Game, Game Options, Enter Passcode, and Continue Demo. I don't know what Continue Demo is, but I know I'm playing the full game, so yeah. Now we can go ahead and start a new game to see what happens in the first level. So the game begins with Rookie One's training. Rookie One is the guy you will be playing as. He's a young pilot and farmer from Tatooine, just like Luke Skywalker. Pretty much at the start of your training, you're learning the basics of flying the ship and I did just fine with my training. The training is not really that hard at all. After you completed the first level of the game, you will earn bonus scores for completion and the password after you learn how to fly and do the basic stuff in the first part. You will have to do some asteroid field training. All you do from there is fly through the asteroid field and shoot the asteroids but dodge the rocky ones. I did just fine on that one as well. Then after you complete that, it gives you another password to use in the pass code. Now, according to my research, I read that the Sega CD version of the graphics are less sharp and detailed than the PC and 3DO versions. The graphics are fine to me in this game, but I can't disagree with other critics saying that it's very pixelated. As they're very pixelated, sometimes it's hard for me to tell if it's just a shadow or if I'm going to bump into something. That's one of my problems with this game. Like it does get in the way of your flying and it does make it difficult for anybody that played this game to tell if the ship is going to crash into something or not. So my advice is to be very careful and take your time. Like with the levels I played, I just follow where the other ship is going so I can prevent myself from crashing my ship and die. The game converts the footage and music from the movie, but with this game, most of the original footage is replaced by CGI render sequences and that the cutscenes use large amount of full motion video. I got no problem with that and I thought it was pretty cool for this game. You're not only going to fly the ship, but sometime during the game, you will be on foot and start shooting at the stormtroopers. Now, I will say this, it's not bad, but there's another problem. You can't actually move, so you have to stand there and shoot. If you take damage, then you better start shooting and get those kills fast to regain health. I think it's pretty stupid that you get to be on foot while shooting at the stormtroopers, but you can't move and take cover from the blast. Like, why? I don't get that. The controls in this game kind of ruin it for me. Whoa, wait a minute. You're telling me that I have to restart this level from the beginning? That's not fair. At least put a checkpoint or something and let me continue at the place where I died at so I won't have to start over. Good lord. Nope. Hell no. I ain't doing it again. If you're good at this game and you play better than I do, then good for you. I'm not the best player when it comes to this game, which I'm not afraid to admit. So therefore, Star Wars Rebel Assault, I did have some fun playing it. I did enjoy flying and shooting, and I did enjoy shooting the stormtroopers, although your character cannot move and take cover, which is pretty stupid. 
basically with this game all the original characters that we know of are replaced by new characters along with new voices like Han Solo and the Millennium Falcon are replaced by Commander Jake Farrow in an A-Wing who saves Rookie One, the guy you're playing as before he takes the final shot on the Death Star, like in Episode 4, A New Hope. Well, there's nothing else for me to say about this game, so I'm going to go ahead and get ready to wrap up this review. In conclusion with Star Wars Rebel Assault, to hear the music or soundtrack from the original movie is awesome. No doubt about that. I did say earlier, the graphics are fine to me, but with the game being very pixelated, it does interfere while you're flying the ship and having you feel unsure if you'll crash into something or not. Being on foot shooting the stormtroopers is cool, but also, like I said, you can't move to take cover. If you die and don't have any more lives left, then you're out of luck. So here's my comment about this game. I say Star Wars Rebel Assault can be a playable game, but it does have some problems that can ruin the game, like the controls. It is worth checking out if you're curious like me to find out what the game is like. Then my final words about this game will be that it's alright, and it's not really one of the best Star Wars game in my opinion. I would not include Star Wars Rebel Assault as my top favorite Star Wars video game on the list, but if you enjoy it and like the game, then good for you. There's no problem with that, but that's just my opinion, and once again, that's pretty much it, so yeah. Therefore, I give Star Wars Rebel Assault a 6 out of 10. I think that's fair enough. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed my review of this game. If you did, give this video a thumbs up, comment right down below if you want to, and subscribe to the channel if you're new, plus to check out more content along with some new reviews from me. So that's it. All that is left for me to say is thank you for watching and may the force be with you. See you guys next time and peace out. And remember, let the Wookiee win.